Hi everyone, today I have a special video for you, something that's never done on this channel before. And it's all about creating a portrait using a graphite pencils. So let's dive into the creative process. Creating such a drawing takes me approximately 10 hours. To avoid stretching the video, let's speed it up. First, I fill the background using a graphite powder. I simply grind an NB pencil on a 500 grit abrasive and distribute the resulting powder. I use a beauty blender for this, which I've cut into six parts for convenience. Links to all the tools I use will be in the video description. The background is ready, and now I move on to constructing the face. I always start with faint lines, make it easier to correct proportions if there is a mistake. I don't use any grids or markings in my drawing, because I'm not used to them. It distracts me and takes me away from accurate proportions. I do everything by eye. Next, I proceed to shading the main shadows and large details. The most interesting process begins. I deliberately choose a reference photo with good light and shadow contrast, as it caught my attention. For my works, I often use portraits taken with harsh lightning. It creates sharp and distinct shadows, emphasizing facial contours and giving the portrait expressiveness. Harsh light highlights the texture of the skin, hair and other portrait elements, providing a more realistic and deep look to the drawing. I've loved drawing since childhood, and it's my favorite hobby. I've tried various forms of visual arts and realized that graphics are what I connect with the most. I can spend hours drawing while listening to my favorite music or audiobook. This process is like a meditation, completely relaxing and distracting from the outside world. All attention is focused on the creating the right lines and shadows. Visiting art galleries, I'm inspired by the work of old masters, especially those done with oil and acrylic. My favorite artist is Ivan Iwazowski, a true master of marine painting. Iwazowski is known for his pursuit of maximum details, giving his work realism. His sunsets, wave illumination, sparkling water surface and reflections create an impression of realism while adding drama to his pieces. I'm impressed by all his paintings, but especially the grey ultramarine palette of a gloomy stormy day in the painting Sinking Ship and the piece titled The Wave. The maritime storm looks incredibly realistic here. Iwazowski painted all his works from memory, and many are dedicated sea storms. In 1844 he experienced a storm in the Bay of Biscay during his first overseas trip. Else the ship was deemed sunk, it miraculously survived. Iwazowski later recalled, Fear did not crush my ability to perceive and retain in the memory. The impressions produced on me by the storm like a wonderful living picture. These emotions and impressions are expressed in his painting The Wave. In the comments tell me about your favorite artists and paintings. I'd love to know what you enjoy. Perhaps you also enjoy drawing, and I'll be interested to see your works. Feel free to share them in the comments. For drawing, I use only graphite pencils ranging from HB to 8B softness. This allows me to easily lighten shaded areas with an eraser, creating more contrast and almost completely whitening the necessary areas. When using charcoal, it's much harder to draw fine details in dark areas using an eraser. In such cases, it's better to use white charcoal instead. There is difference between regular pencils, and not all are equally suitable for drawing. Quality pencils don't crumble and leave tiny speckles on the paper that are hard to get rid of later. Also, pencils with good quality are easier to sharpen, which is necessary when working on a portrait. If you don't want to spend time sharpening, you can use mechanical pencils. They don't require sharpening and always create a thin, clear line. I like Faber-Castell and Stedler from the manufacturers. These are quality graphite pencils that are reliable and sharpen well. I find them very comfortable to work with. By the way, Faber-Castell has a series called Pit Graphite. These are matte graphite pencils that shine less than usual. The softness among them is 14B, allowing you to create very dark details in the drawing without unnecessary shine. Links to them will be in the video description. 
If this video motivates you to start drawing, it's better to do so right away using quality tools. This way the work process will be more comfortable and enjoyable, leading to better results. That's the most important aspect of achieving a good outcome. The choice of drawing paper is also crucial. It can be super smooth or textured like watercolor paper. For this work, I use very smooth paper, make it easier for me to achieve smooth transition of shadows. Additionally, in the darkest area, the color appears more uniform. Smooth paper, in my opinion, works best for the portraits with high contrast, like this one, where there is a significant difference between the brightest and darkest areas. I also use watercolor paper for drawing portraits, but when the image has soft light without strong shadows on the face and dark background. By experimenting with different papers, you surely find the most suitable option for yourself. Once you find it, your drawing results will improve and the work process will be much more comfortable. And don't forget to experiment with tools, just like in creating decorative plaster. You can find unconventional uses for ordinary items. For example, I use brushes and sponges used for makeup in my drawings. At the beginning of this work, I even ground graphite using an abrasive for a grinding machine. With a non-traditional approach, you can achieve interesting effects and apply them in your works. Every artist has their little tricks and you develop yours too. One of my main rules in creating a portrait is to take a break and distract yourself when interest in detailing a particular part of the drawing starts to fade and you find yourself rushing to finish it quickly. It's better to stop and take a break for a couple of hours or even a whole day. During this time, your interest in the work will return. If you do this after the break, you continue drawing with renewed interest and attention. Details turn out better than if you were to rush with the sole thought of finish faster. This approach always leads to unfortunate consequence in any creative work, especially in art. I finished the drawing and now it's time to evaluate the result. The portraits turn out expressive and I like how I managed to convey the play of light and shadows. Plus, the mood of the face was successfully captured. It exudes calmness and tranquility while radiating confidence and strength. It's a very intriguing combination. I'm pleased with the result and I hope you are too. The work was quite interesting and I derived pleasure from the process, which is the most important thing. Please don't forget to hit the like button, subscribe if you haven't already and see you in the next video.